Jaipur, India's treasure trove, known for its exquisite jewellery, palaces, vibrant colours and fabrics. On the city's outskirts, textiles are prepared by adding dyes and chemicals to boiling water, a process that has a large carbon footprint. We use wood to boil the water, explains Biru Yadav, who runs this small dyeing unit. We use about four large bundles of wood every day. India's textile industry is the largest manufacturing sector in the country and one of its oldest. It's also one of the worst polluting. The industry is just beginning to look at harnessing alternative energy. Textile industry in India has been there for ages. It's difficult for any individual or an industry to change, but people are now more educated. They understand more about you know, environmental consciousness. The man pushing this change is Saurabh Bhandari. His company supplies solar water heaters to hotels, hospitals, residences and recently to this garment manufacturer who exports women's wear to Walmart and other companies in the United States. The solar water heater is providing the water to the boiler. Uh -huh. Boiler is creating steam. It's coming through the pipes, Directly down these pipes the and reaching the iron. This means he uses a lot less diesel in his factory. If we are reducing our diesel consumption daily by 20 to 30 litres, so we are saving 1200 rupees every day. Economically and environmentally, it was a good project to work upon. In India, solar power is an easy way to reduce a company's carbon footprint. Solar potential in India is huge. Most of the country has abundant sunlight, you know, at least about mm. 320 to 330 days a year. We have a lot of sunlight in the country and it's a free source of energy. The cost of solar energy equipment is going down too. Ten years ago, it used to cost $10 to heat a litre of water. Now, it costs two. That's still steep for some people, but an investment to reduce the environmental cost of a centuries-old tradition.